The cocoons of moths have been used to create high-quality fabric for over 4,000 years. A Chinese tradition says that it was discovered by Empress He Ling Shi. When a cocoon fell into her teacup, the Empress discovered a long, thin fiber of silk. The royal families of China loved silk and thought it was worth more than gold. The secret of its production was kept by China for 2,500 years. It is said that eventually the secret was taken away by a Chinese princess. One day, the princess left to get married in India. In her hair, she hid some silkworm caterpillars and mulberry seeds for their food. In the Vietnamese town of Vong Nui Yet, silk making has been an important business for over 1,200 years. Many of the village people keep silkworms in their living rooms. Each basket contains hundreds of silkworm caterpillars. This is the young or larval stage of a moth called Bombyx mori. Taking care of these caterpillars is hard work. The caterpillars have to eat every two hours during the day and every three hours throughout the night. They eat only mulberry leaves. The caterpillars live only three weeks and spend all their time eating. After three weeks, the caterpillars are placed on tree branches. Here they begin to spin their cocoon. They create this cocoon to protect themselves as they turn into adult moths. First, the caterpillar creates a loose pattern of fibers. Eventually, it becomes closed off from the world. The silk fibers come from a part of the caterpillar's mouth called the salivary glands. The insect spins its head around and an unbroken silk fiber comes out. This fiber ranges from 400 to 600 meters long. To complete the cocoon, the caterpillar doesn't stop working for three days. The silk farmers cannot allow the caterpillar to become an adult moth. If it did, it would eat its way out and the silk would be broken. The cocoons must be brought to the spinning house before the cycle is complete. Throughout the village of Vong Nui Yet, people turn the cocoons into silk thread. The first step is to heat the cocoons so that the silk becomes loose. The end of each cocoon must be found by hand and spun together. Usually, a single thread needs 10 or more cocoons. Wu Ti has been making silk for many years and is continuing a long tradition. Making silk is good work because it is the work of the ancestors. The silk being spun here is done in the old way, as it has been for many years. This machine over here makes it in the new way. The old spinning machines haven't changed much for over a thousand years. The modern machine next to them has been designed for a finer, higher quality silk thread. It is much faster, but the ends of the silk fiber still have to be found by hand. Once the silk thread is made, it will leave Vong Nui Yet and be sent to the weaving town of Van Phuc. Here the silk is made ready for the weaving machines called looms. Small buildings here have machines from the 1940s. The process of weaving silk is very slow and the machines must be watched all the time. It takes around two and a half hours to make one meter of silk material. After a lot of work on the part of man and moth, the silk cloth is finally completed. Despite the invention of cheaper materials, natural silk is still loved for its beauty and comfort. This amazing product of man and moth continues to be extremely popular around the world.